Hello there, my name is Carolyn. I'm going to be teaching you 10 minutes of Pilates. This is a routine you can do every day if you want to. First thing in the morning when we're feeling stiff. Okay, so we need no equipment for this particular session. So just 10 minutes. So we'll start with standing. So Pilates works with the fundamentals of balance and coordination and posture. So we get to get ourselves into a nice alignment. So find your feet or hip width apart and parallel. And just find the weight distributed between the big toe, little toe and heel, just in the triangle. Now, unlock the knees, soften the knees. Now lift the ribs out of the hips. So you're lengthening your spine. And roll the shoulders up and round the back, lengthening hands down by your side. We're gonna do that again. Up and around. Take a nice deep breath in and out. Inhale and exhale. Now I want you to lengthen your neck, look forward. Keep your gaze nice and forward. Good, and then from here, we're gonna do individual. So I'm just gonna roll your shoulders one by one, individually round. So inhale and exhale as you make movement. And I want you to make nice big circles. We're just moving the shoulders, releasing tension, releasing anything, knots, tension. Okay, and then bring your arms back. Take a nice deep breath in for me. And I want you to exhale as you bring your palms up, facing each other, lengthening and back. We're keeping the spine in neutral. I'm gonna turn so you can see my spine from a neutral position. So unlock the knees, lengthen the spine, look up and forward, up and back. Inhale, exhale, reaching up and back. Inhale, exhale, up and back. Now we're gonna change this to a circle. We're gonna lift it up, circle it round. Inhale, exhale, circle. Inhale, exhale, and circle. Remember to keep your belly button to spine. So imagine you've got a waistcoat on. Zipping it up nice and tight. Feeling the length in your feet up right into your hips. Good, last one. And out as you circle. Good. We're gonna do side bend. So if you take your feet slightly wider apart, this is good for the waist, and lengthening through the lower back, working lower lumbar. So feet just slightly more than hip width apart, so you've got a good grounding. Find your feet, lengthen up. Take your right hand up towards the ceiling. Inhale and exhale as you take your body over. Inhale, exhale to return. Inhale. Exhale, and back. Breathing in, exhale. Now I normally suggest five times on each side. Up, exhale, making it nice and even, and back. This time I want you to bring your arm up, lengthen, and take yourself right across the room almost like you're trying to touch the wall on the opposite side of the room. Lifting up the arm, lengthen the fingers to ceiling, and over we go. And restack the spine back into neutral position. So up, inhale, exhale, up and back. Breath in and out. Last one now, making ourselves nice and even. Up you come. Inhale, exhale as you reach over and back. Okay, so now I'm going to get you to do a roll down. So, you take, you take your hands to your thighs, unlock the knees, put the weight even in your feet, looking up and forward, tuck your tailbone in, lengthen up. Tuck the chin into chest and let the arms go. Just tucking the chin in and you're going to roll from the top of your head down, all the way down. To the floor. Don't worry if you can't touch the floor. 
Inhale, exhale. And we're going to restack yourself up from lower back, middle, upper, and then the head comes back on top of the shoulders. Okay, we'll do that again, then come standing forward. So inhale in, tuck the chin to chest, let the arms go. Exhale. And each time you come down, and roll back up. Each time you do this, you might find that you'll find that you'll get further and deeper towards the floor. Breath in and breathe out. And back. Roll the shoulders back. Last one. Tuck the chin into chest. Rolling down. Restack. Lower, middle, upper. And come back up to standing. Go on. Okay. So we're going to go and do a standing back bend. This is like doing a cobra, which we would do normally lying on our tummies, but we're going to do it standing. So the, what you do is you take your feet so they're parallel, okay? Keep your ribs over your hips, tuck your tailbone in. I want you to take your arms out wide and take your hands behind your head. Interlock your fingers. Now press your head into your hands, okay? So you're not forward, press your head into your hands. And then from here, you're going to roll your nose up the wall, up the ceiling, and you're gonna go all the way up into the hips. Roll the head back and bring yourself back into neutral. Okay, here we go. You take a breath in, exhale. Up, 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 inhale, and exhale as you bring it back. I'm gonna come around this way, and come up, 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 and back. So what we're aiming for here is the middle of the back. So if you imagine you're a lady, you've got your bra strap on, just in that center there is where we have a little bit of movement and that's where we're working on. And at the same time as we're doing this, we're working in the hips, get a little bit of movement in the hips and back and bring your arms out and bring them back to your sides and just roll the shoulders out good we're going to come down to the mat now so we come down to our mat you come down to your spine now i would suggest you use a cushion because we want to keep the head in line with spine so you can use a cushion off your bed or maybe off your sofa okay or you can buy these so arms down by your side feet are parallel. We want to make sure all the ribs are down the mat. So I'm just going to pick my bottom up and just wiggle it down, arms down by my side, shoulders open. Good. And I start starting to feel more ribs on the back of the mat. Now float your ribs down. So imagine you're floating them down. Take a deep breath in and out. Let the ribs float down. Keep your hips in neutral. Now your feet are hip width apart and parallel. Fingers lengthen down by your sides and looking up towards the ceiling and shoulders open. Open the shoulders, let the shoulders go, relax. Okay, from here, I'm gonna get you to take a nice deep breath in and you're gonna exhale as you tuck your pubic bone in, your bone in, up towards your belly button. Start to roll your bottom off the mat Start to come up, lower back, middle back, and all the way up into the shoulders and push the knees away. Push the knees away. Don't float the tummy. And we can do this by just sending the knees away. Okay, and then we soften through the upper back, lowering the upper back, middle, lower, and tailbone. And let it roll back out. The pelvis rolls out. Now tuck the pelvis in, inhale, exhale as you roll up. Now I would suggest to do this about five times. I'm just lifting up, inhale, exhale, roll it back down. And roll the, the pelvis back out into neutral. Inhale, exhale, tuck it in. Inhale, exhale, lift. Last one. Breathing in, breathing out, lift up and down. Lower the spine. 
Okay, we're just going to do a nice twist. So bring your feet together, thighs together, arms up, send your shoulders out nice and wide. Make sure they're lower than the armpit. Turn the palms facing down, feet together. Keeping your body still at the top, so shoulders to floor. You're going to roll your knees over to one side. Keep one foot on top of the other. Inhale, exhale as you draw it back. Keep the shoulders open, back on that. Inhale, exhale over to the opposite. Again, I'm going to do this five times on each side. So this is a lower back stretch. And exhale. Good. Make sure the shoulders are down. Your upper body is energized, but it's completely stable. We're only moving the lower part of the body. Okay. One more. Last one. Exhale as you take your legs over. Inhale as you bring it back. Lovely. And bring your legs arms down your side and we're going to just roll up. Okay, so there's some short exercises that you can do every day.